splendid news from Moscow. Berlin has fallen. Marshal Stalin has just announced the complete capture of the capital of Germany, the center of German imperialism, and the cradle of German aggression. In view of this fact, tomorrow, Tuesday, will be treated as victory in Europe Day and will be regarded as a holiday. As a tailpiece to Victory Day, we give you Britain's weather on the day that it happened. That's something you haven't heard about since the war began. Victory Day started with violent rainstorms in many districts, but most of the time it's been sunny and very warm. No one could forget that the war against Japan continued. But those who had borne the hardships of the home front joined together for a moment to celebrate victory in Europe. There's also news today of a long lost friend, the Large Depression. It's turned up again between Ireland and the Azores, where it's reported at the moment to be almost stationary. We're going to have some celebrations tonight, so we're going to make some sandwiches. But being as we've used our fresh egg for the cake, which seemed a much more sensible thing to do, we're going to make up this dried egg according to the Ministry of Food leaflet with this curry and egg filling. So we're going to try that and see how it works. It doesn't work too well. It won't be ours, it'll be Mrs. somebody else's down the road. We shan't own it. I shan't put in quite as much curry as they say, because the children will be going to have it as well, and they don't like too much curry. And then we're going to put it into the frying pan with the margarine and the spring onions, which I'm going to use, because they are a milder flavour. Um, it says onion, but you can adapt it to suit yourself. A welcome sound, Danny. It's lovely. It's a long time since we heard those bells. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to it. I think I might put my hair up. What again? It's another night for the pipe cleaners, is it? Yeah. It's what it's been it's been a long time since I put it up. The last time was the dance. Well, that should make a change. People won't recognise you, will they? That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I know if you've had a good time by the time you get in. <laughs> You're nosy. Mm, more than likely. I'm not alone, that's a certain sure thing. <laughs> It's nearly three o'clock, so well, Winnie's going to speak again, so could you just turn that up a bit, because we, yeah. we don't want to miss anything. Lovely to hear Big Ben. Brings me up to the
at General Eisenhower's headquarters, General Jodl, the representative of the German High Command, and of Grand Admiral Dönig, the designated head of the German state, signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe. Long victory moves and guides our loved ones home. Shine on victory moves across the sea. Bottled wine for the competition tonight. I think that looks quite nice. It's lovely and clear, so we'll see. And I brought you a rosette to wear. They're pretty. They are, aren't they? I think. I expect there'll be a lot more there tonight as well as ours. I'll take them up in the pot because I should sure to want it before the night's out. I always do end up in the kitchen, although I intend not to. When we look back now to years gone by to a dark and stormy We survived, come rain or shine, it turned out fine. Though the memories are fading of those days. 